Safaricom is going to take you through, Your Excellency. So you welcome uh, Your Excellency, um, Honorable Cabinet Minister. Um, so you welcome to Safaricom. Yeah. So you're you're in the home of uh, technology. Um, first, I want to congratulate you for the big progress in terms of digitization. Uh, and uh, going over the milestone of 5,000 transactions uh, or other services uh, to, to the citizens. I still remember in, uh, in November on 30th when you were sitting asking me a question just before the launch of uh, Hustler Fund and you asked me the question, Peter, how do you feel? I told you I hope the system will work. <laughs> so I hope that I can demonstrate we have the capacity but also it's secure uh, that uh, it will work. Uh, so we are ready. Uh, to be the platform that uh, fuels and supports uh, the whole digitization. We, we say it's about driving digital transformation through connectivity, because me, people have to be connected to the internet, uh, through fintech, which is about uh, payments and also credit, uh, and also IoT and ICT, which is about solutions that allow uh, digitization to work. So I'll start with the, the fintech side, which is the M-Pesa side. Um, so of course, Safaricom enables real-time payments for government, uh, and that creates transparency. But also from uh, uh, the, the, the person who is paying, uh, the, uh, it is lower cost, they don't have to travel, and uh, we fuel secure transactions on a, on a daily basis. And uh, uh, you, you've heard from all the rest of the presenters that they rely on M-Pesa in terms of payment. And the fundamental uh, basis of M-Pesa is actually payments. Then we go to credit, uh, which is where Hustler Fund, Women Enterprise Fund, you know we are already in, the, in phase two and uh, CS has spoken through uh, the progress that we are making. Uh, we are pleased with, with what uh, we are able to do and uh, we are looking forward to phase three and four, uh, your, your Excellency. The third one is vouchering. Uh, we are powering uh, the uh, the fertilizer uh, project, uh, which through the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, though both the, pl the actual platform, but also the user journey, including the stock management, uh, that is being powered by, uh, by uh, Safaricom, but also the actual payment. Uh, so, so it's not just the, the payment, but it's also the, um, the platform that allows uh, uh, farmers to claim uh, the, the subsidy. And remember that uh, this started with uh, how we were using uh, vouchers for refugees. Now we can use them for, for claiming uh, fertilizer subsidy. We can go to inputs. Um, and we already have 3.2 million bags of fertilizer, which has already been uh, redeemed, uh, worth 11 billion uh, Kenya shillings uh, by uh, registered farmers. We have 489,000 farmers who have already uh, claimed uh, uh, the subsidies. We are also working with other agencies of government uh, like HELP, the Higher Education uh, Loan Board, uh, so students can actually pay and manage their loans uh, through this, including we are giving them uh, a credit score so that they understand which students uh, are, do are doing the right thing. And, and the money is actually uh, we ensure that the money is used for what it is supposed to be used for. So if money is used for, it's supposed to be used for tuition, it goes to tuition. Uh, if, if, if the rest of the money is open, then uh, the platform actually manages uh, that. The second thing that we wanted to talk to you, Your Excellency, is connectivity. And our commitment is to ensure that everyone has access to the internet, whether it's through mobile uh, and, and also uh, through uh, the fiber network. I know you have a big plan uh, for the fiberization of the country. We already have 450,000 homes passed through our fiber network, but also our fiber infrastructure that supports our mobile network can be the backbone and also support the work that uh, uh, you are doing in terms of uh, achieving the 100,000 uh, 100, kilometers. In terms of uh, mobile, we are at 97% coverage on 2, 3, and 4G, 
and now we have launched 5G. We will have 800 sites at the end of this year uh, in terms of 5G. But the most important is to make sure that we don't leave anyone behind. So we work with the ICT ministry uh, through the USF to ensure those areas that are not commercially viable, they are managed through the, uh, the, the, um, <coughs> uh, that fund. Now, of course, once you have connectivity, you need devices. And I know this is one thing that we have spoken for a while. And I know you've been updated by the, uh, by the ICT uh, CS. Um, yes, we will have local production. And I know that you have already been updated, so I won't go through that. But I'll also say we also have funding in terms of pay as you go. Uh, we call it Lipam Dogom Dogo, where a customer pays 500 shillings uh, deposit and then 20 shillings off their M-Pesa every day. And they get a phone at the end of the period. And we don't charge a, a, a big interest. Our objective is to ensure uh, that uh, the customer has a phone. Because if they do have a phone, then also our services uh, are secured th through, that, uh, uh, through that phone. So, so uh, yeah. on, on that particular issue, uh, Peter, first, let me say the following, that uh, I very sincerely appreciate the partnership of Safaricom in all the areas you have mentioned. We did together, we did the Hustler Fund, and uh, together with the other telcos, you led the way, and we appreciate that system. When I asked you that time, my worry was with a kind of avalanche uh, the system could have gone either way. But I'm happy that Safaricom has stabilized that system and it's working. On the e-voucher for our farmers, it is something that we have been th discussing as government for years. I am very happy that this year, working with you and uh, the other players, we delivered fertilizer to farmers on an e-platform. Uh, and all the other uh, achievements we have uh, made uh, together. Two issues, uh, Peter, and uh, I want to, this is a discussion I have had with your Boniface, this man who has been to my office so many times uh, and has been very useful. The smartphone, my good people there from ICT told me that August we will have the 40 US dollar uh, smartphone. Is it 4G or 5G enabled? It is a five, uh, sorry, it's 4G, 4G. Uh, smartphone because that's the entry point for proper internet access. Correct. So it will be, can I confirm again to you for the second time that it, in August we will have a rollout of those uh, phones, smartphones? That is correct, Your Excellency. I can hold you to account on that? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, yes. you're making things even better. You're telling me that that 5,400, Kenyans don't have to pay for it at once. Can they, yes. can they buy that phone, Lipam Dogom Dogo uh, 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 style? They can. So they, can, they, they can they, have the option yes. of buying through Lipam Dogom Dogo. They can uh, buy it cash if they want. Yes. Uh, they, but they can also have the option of uh, going through the credit. So uh, this smartphone that will allow many Kenyans to access all these services can be available. They pay down 500 shillings, pay 20 shillings every day, and own the phone finally. That is correct. That's correct. Yeah. Wonderful. So I think that is something we should uh, uh, congratulate you for. Proceed. Oh, I proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. And also, we, are, we, we also uh, appreciate your support in helping uh, us work with the various ministries, and we continue to partner with everyone, both at a national level, but also at a county level. I know Governor Sakaja is here. We are also working together uh, to ensure that both the counties are actually enabled in the same way that the national government is enabled. So thank you. Finally, uh, J uh, Peter. You have 250,000 network around the country of, is it agents? We, we actually have 295,000 M-Pesa agents. M-Pesa agents across Kenya. That is correct. These 295,000 M-Pesa agents, can they also have the uh, government app 
these uh, 5,000 government services, can they be available at each of your agents' spots? Yeah, in fact, that was the next point I was going to say, okay. that we are happy uh, to support uh, the ministry and also your government in uh, opening up the network, the, the agent network, uh, to be able to serve Kenyans uh, by having the ability for, for a person to go and visit you know, the agent work with the, with the ministry to work through the process of, uh, of doing that. So whether it is 295,000 or it's a smaller number, we can work through that uh, so that we make sure that those agents are also trained to make sure they can deliver the services. But they, they are points of uh, sale that can allow citizens who go there every day anyway for m -Pesa services to access government services. The second aspect is on our m -Pesa super app. Now on the smartphone, we have 8 million customers who have already downloaded the m -Pesa Super App. So they don't have to use USSD. They can actually go to the uh, m -Pesa Super App and, and, and uh, access uh, the e-citizen. So we'll, do, we'll put the e-citizen as a mini app on the m -Pesa Super App. You can see the Hustler Fund uh, mini app is already there. Now we'll be able to put the e-citizen as a mini app on the, on the uh, m -Pesa, uh, Super App. Just to give you an indication, about 7% of the revenue that M-Pesa comes from the app itself. It shows you just how important it is to actually give people smartphones because they do more with, the, with their lives. And you can see they have many other services that they can access, including credit uh, and, uh, and other lifestyle uh, services. Um, and then the final thing that I wanted to speak to is uh, on uh, uh, hosting. We host the e-citizen a platform in a secure cloud network for us that is owned by Safaricom. And that is very important. That's why M-Pesa is very stable and reliable. So we host uh, the e-citizens uh, in a way that is secure. So as we digitize the ecosystem, it's important to emphasize security. Uh, and si we have a very, one of the best uh, cyber security defense center uh, at Safaricom. We've had, we have had a lot of banks and everyone stealing our people because we do have very, very good skills on the, on the cyber side. We also uh, are now looking at IoT, which is uh, uh, Internet of Things, working with, say, utility companies or transport companies. This is, this is how you, you connect devices. Uh, uh, and uh, um, so, for example, on uh, non-revenue water, we are working with Edowas, for example, as a test and as a pilot uh, to make sure that they can get uh, a solution that allows them to reduce the non-revenue water. We can work with the, the Port Authority and others in terms of, tra and even the KRA, in tracking uh, transport. Good. Thank you very much, Peter. I think the, that, that's quite a good story. And I agree with you that cyber security is going to be the next big thing. As we transit government services onto the digital platform, we must be careful that it is secure. We appreciate yeah. what Safaricom is doing, but I've already instructed Waziri here to work with this team to make sure that we have a backup of all the services of government at the DOD, and we have another backup at a secure place, which I have told you where you're going to uh, have uh, several backup facilities, and that because of the sensitivity of uh, this platform, now that the whole of government is moving into, into that platform, security becomes front and center. And uh, I have told Waziri here to consult with his uh, colleague, uh, Owalo, so that we can consolidate the whole of the e-citizen platform at the Ministry of Interior, so that uh, we are also seized of the security requirements that are necessary to secure the delivery of government service on a platform that cannot be accessed by people who don't have to. That, that's great, Your Excellency, and we'll, we'll continue to work with the team. The final one is the, the communication itself. So we, we've worked with PHB Talk and, 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 and the rest of the team in, in terms of coming up with the comms, uh, and, and you've talked about the channels uh, that, uh, that we can enable, including the communication. We are experts in driving brand. You know what we did with Hustler Fund. We can also support on this, okay. and very, very happy uh, to be involved. Thank Asante you, Sana, Your Thank Excellency. You Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. We now welcome you to